In the past few months, I have bought a lot of SaaS apps and AI apps. Some are generating images, some are generating text or helping me build the content or, you know, generate content and a lot of different things. But I am facing few five common issues in most of these startup SaaS products or in their design, in their product design or in their development. So I'm going to point out all the user experience, the UX common issues of SaaS products. So these are the five common issues of SaaS products. Number one is usability and uh, you know functionality issues. So if there are functions that are critical to your users, they must be up to date, they must work and function properly and efficiently. So this is really, really important. Now, I have seen few apps that once they launch, when the, there are a load of users, like 100 users using that same uh, feature at the same time, it actually crashes or slows down. So this is one thing. Now, slowing down is the next point, which is your SaaS product, your web app, your um, startup or AI tool, it actually loads very, very slow. So I have seen, a, yesterday it happened with me, I was using an app, uh, you know, and I, web app, and I was, you know, it was a tool to convert actually videos to blog posts. And when I clicked on some of, you know, the links, it actually slowed down my whole browser and my browser actually crashed due to that uh, web app or SaaS tool. So this is my experience. So load issues or slowing down your app, it is not good. It should be function very quickly and it should load swiftly. Okay, so the next one is going to be, um, sometimes they don't work on their brands, branding and design. So lack of, you know, a special touch. So like if you go to any burger shop or any sandwich shop, and uh, you see the branding and the colors and everything just like the shop on the right and the left. I think it's not uh, feasible that you, will, you would be, uh, you know, visiting them again because your story is the same as this, this person and this person. So show something in your branding, uh, in your uh, web app, in your interface, in your colors, in your you know delight the users with some thing in your design so start working or building your brand design and it is going to upgrade the value of your app a lot higher uh, in the eyes of your users so this is uh, another problem now uh, next problem is uh, I have seen this a lot of time is onboarding issues so whenever a user, new user is going to onboard your app, the flow is very, very difficult or sometime, sometimes, uh, actually it happened with me uh, that I actually purchased a premium license, lifetime license of a SaaS AI app. And what happened is that when I tried to log in, it sent me a password in my email. So I didn't know that this is going to happen. So I keep on trying my login. I didn't know that it sent me an email. So this was the problem in the user onboarding flow. So what I did is I clicked on forgot password. And it was, you know, a very, very strange spiral, which I got into and I was, you know, stuck there. I kept on, you know, using forgot password and I didn't know my old password because it was auto-generated and it was in my email. So that was a very, really bad experience. And I actually emailed that team that this, uh, your spiral of onboarding uh, flow is really, really, uh, you know, a very big technical issue. You have to, uh, you know, re, uh, reprogram this flow. So you have to reflow or fix this flow and uh, gave them few suggestions and they thanked me. Anyhow, so user onboarding is very, very necessary. Make it a breeze for users to sign up and get to use your app, okay? So these are four things. The last one is 
that uh, you have to in the start of your product when you in the first two years you have to give them some bigger benefit to sign to a premium version for their lifetime because your first users like first hundred or first thousand users they are the most loyal users and they are going to be uh, the first ones that are going to spend money for your app so you can see this usage that if you have like 500 users that are using your app a lot their usage uh, you can measure the usage and if you see that you can email them and give them some offer that uh, you can you know upgrade to lifetime license or something like that similarly you can get influencers or things like that so i get a lot of uh, you know uh, emails that please sign up for this app and do a review of um, like uh, there was an app on right now at product hunt at that is number one Taskade ai and Taskade is actually uh, i think they emailed me an year ago that you please review about our product and how you use it in your daily routine so it is uh, app like asana and trello something like that the mix of you know um, both like similar to click up so uh, that is the story i hope if you uh, if i get any more ideas i will share it with in, in with you in another video these are the few common issues i found in product or saas product design and uh, these are the user experience problems so they can easily be fixed this is all from me so if you need any help building up uh, the user experience side of a SaaS product or landing page or upgrading or branding your uh, you know um, product I'm here to help my name is Mohammed Hassan I have been doing product design and user experience consultancy from past 20 plus years and uh, you can contact me via my email at the bottom I will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye